Um, let's see. How did you learn that word? <laughs> How did you learn the word pet peeve? Um, my pet peeve, I have a few. Hello. Hello. How are Hello. you? Um, I'm good. How about you? I'm good, thank you. What's your name? My name is Havisha. What is your name? <laughs> Can you say your name one more time, please? My name is Havisha. What is Havisha. your name? My name is Ashley. Ashley, that's a nice name. And Havashi, where are you from? I'm from the southern part of India. And where are you from? Well, I'm from the United States, but I live in Spain. Okay. Yes. And how long, Havashi, have you been learning English? I've been learning English since I've learned some words. So for a very long time. I never calculated that. You what? I never calculated that. You, you haven't calculated it officially? But I, I can tell that you've been speaking for a long time because you seem very confident speaking English and you're very easy to understand. Okay. So, <laughs> so can you tell me something about your country? Um, sure. Let me think of what I can say about my country. Um, well, I am from a state called Connecticut, and that's on the northeast side of the United States. And Connecticut is very beautiful in the fall time of the year. Yeah, okay. well, uh huh. so that's where I'm from. Um, you can tell me something interesting about India if you would like. Yes, India is the seventh largest country area wise in the world, and it is the second most populous country in the world. Here, mm -hmm. here you will be surprised by or astonished by the humor of the warmth and the hospitality of the people of India. Mm -mm. Yeah, I've never been to India, but I'm sure that the people are very friendly, very kind. Yeah, I the, hear the songs, colors, music. And dances will bring a uh, real delight to your heart. And being, and this is a land of multicultural, multi religion, multi language, and that's why it's known for its unity and diversity. Wow. Well, it sounds like I have to go. Yeah. Being an Indian, like I'm proud of my country, and I, and uh, I assure you that after you will, after you visit India, you will bring lots of lovely memories and souvenirs back home. I'm sure, I'm sure, I hope so. It sounds like I need to book a plan very, very soon or book a trip very soon um, to, to go to India. Um, and I would, I would love that for sure. Yeah. yeah. So do you study English in school? Yes, I do. Yeah, and then you come on here to practice. Yeah. How long have you been practicing on Cambly? I think this is my, I've been, uh, I don't know how much, I think four weeks or days or I don't know, four weeks or days. Yeah, so kind of a short time you started recently? Yeah, I can say I started it recently. Recent, perfectly. And um, what was I going to say? Um, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Well, do you enjoy it so far? Do you enjoy speaking? Yes, I like people from different countries. Okay. Oh, good. Good. I can tell that you're really interested in learning about new people and traveling. Have you personally traveled a lot? I've not traveled a lot in any, any other country, but I've traveled a lot when I was young. But uh, the, I have. But other than when I was young or very young, I think I've traveled. I've also traveled many places. Oh, so when you were younger, you went a lot of places. Yeah, but in India only. But within India, but outside of India, not yet. Yeah. Okay. So is there anything here? Uh, uh, is there any dark side of your country? Uh, is there a what? A dark side of your country. A dark side of my country. A dark side. What do you mean by a dark side of my country? Something which you don't like. 
Okay, a dark side. Um, you could say maybe a downside. A downside of my country. Um, I mean, <laughs> there can be a lot <laughs> um, about the United States. I would say because of um, recent events that maybe you've heard of in the news, I think a downside for me about living in the United States is the gun laws that we have. I personally don't believe in guns. So for me, that's a downside about living in the United States. But I don't want to get <laughs> political. Um, or maybe another downside is that the country is so large that it's very difficult to travel throughout the entire country. And it's very um, difficult to get from one side to the other without taking a plane. Okay, so your country must be populous. Yeah, yeah, there are, I think, almost 400 million people in the United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, here India is also populous as the second most populous country. First is China, second is India. Yes, yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, but, but I think the United States, it has a lot of open land in the middle of it. So on the coasts, a lot of people live on the coastlines of the U.S. and it's very densely populated. But in the middle of the United States, there's less people there. Okay, so you live in the middle of the United States or in the coastal areas? I live on the coast. I live on the east coast. Um, and I can show you, I can find a map and I can, let's see, show you where Connecticut is. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, can you see? Yes, I can. Great. So my state, if you look on the right side of the map, that small orange state, says Connecticut with the, the line connecting it? Yes. I don't know if you can see. Can I draw on this? No, I can't. Um, can I draw on it? No, I can't draw on this. But um, yeah, but yeah, that's where um, I live. So okay. I live on the water. Very nice. And it's a very small state compared to the rest of them. Okay, it's a small state. Yeah, super small. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not sure I saw that. Yeah, I think if you um, just look at the map very quickly, you definitely won't won't know that it's there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So tell me about your family. Uh, my family is friendly and it supports its it's uh it's, um, it's not selfish it's non-selfish family it's a nice family okay. i like to live here but sometimes uh fight occurs between me and my sister and my little brother of course yeah. yes i used to fight with my siblings all the time yeah so mm -hmm. my sometimes my ma father and mother also fight over things or i would say argue argue with things mm -hmm. sometimes but ra but rarely Right, yeah, like every family that happens. So you have a brother and a sister and then two parents. Yeah. Okay, that's great. And how about your grandparents? Do you live near your grandparents? No, my grandparents are living in the, in the I can say, um, northwest, northwest part of India, whereas I live in, in the southern part of southern part of India. Okay, so you live very far from each other. Yeah. Okay. And are you still in school? Mm -hmm. Oh, the are going on. So oh, you started your vacation. Yeah. Yeah, and how long is your vacation? Is it two months? Is it three months? It's 50 days, so on 21st my school holidays will end. Really? Oh, so the 21st of July or the 21st of, of August? Oh, of June. The 21st of Oh, so you have been on your summer 
um, vacation. And then on the 21st yeah. of June, your vacation ends and you go back to school. Yes, ma'am, what is your pet peeve? <laughs> My pet peeve? Um, let's see, how did you learn that word? <laughs> how did you learn the word pet peeve? Um, my pet peeve, I have a few. I don't like when people chew with their mouth open. Um, I don't like when I'm walking on the sidewalk and the people in front of me walk very slowly and I have to, I have to get around them and go faster. Um, so I think those are two of my pet peeves. Okay, so have you, you been across any such pet peeve? And uh, what was your experience? My experience with these pet peeves? Well, I mean, sometimes you can't really say anything. Um, if I'm walking and somebody is slow, then you just have to let it happen and you have to go around them. Um, and then if I'm in the presence of someone chewing with their mouth open, I just, I don't look, <laughs> I don't look. Um, Cause sometimes people don't notice that they're doing it. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. I think we disconnected for a second. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So mom, what is your favorite flower? My favorite flower? Um, I like lilies. 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 Yeah. Do you like lilies? I don't know how to identify flowers. I know some flowers. So I don't think I've seen any. Yeah. Lilies. Well, which one is your favorite? I like lotus. The lotus. Oh, yeah. I like, I like lotus flowers as well. Those are really good ones. Yeah. And here, I'll show you a picture of a lily. Um, let's see. Define my tab. These flowers I really like. Oh, I don't think I've seen much in my life. Really? Um, they were common at my grandmother's house. She had a lot of the orange lilies in her yard. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so they're a summer flower and they only bloom for a few weeks in the year. Okay, so what is your favorite, um, the, what is your hobby? My hobby, I like to run. I like to go to the gym and also read. And I have two cats and I like to spend time with my cats. Okay, so if you want to uh, spend time with your cats, how would you? How would I? Um, I would watch TV and they would lay on top of me while, while I watch TV. So I think yeah, the cats are spending time with you, laying on you, and you're spending time watching TV. So what is your favorite show on TV? My favorite show on TV, um, I really like, what do I like these days? Um, there's a show called Breaking Bad. And I really like that show. And they made another TV show after it, which is um, similar. And so I like those shows. That's why I've been watching. Okay, so uh, I have not watched any Breaking Back type show. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend it until you're older. Okay, so how? Um, so your favorite show is the Breaking Bad show. How often do you watch TV? Um, maybe on the weekends, I watch TV. Okay. So what weekend. is your favorite food item? My favorite what? Full item. Food item. Full item. What does that mean? My favorite? F double O T D food item. Oh, my favorite food. Um, I really like, I like lots of food. I like pizza a lot and pasta. Um, and Havashi, we are all done. We have 10 seconds left and our class is over. But good luck with everything. It was really nice talking to you. Yeah, same here. Yeah, Thanks. take care. Bye -bye.
Bye bye. Keep practicing bye. your English. Bye bye. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until.